honor. I'm going to try to be brief, but allow me to read so I will be brief. <laughs> um, thank you, Dr. Moody, and the Royal Circle Foundation for naming me as the 2013 Inspiration Award honoree. It was a complete surprise, but simultaneously deeply moving to be recognized for the work that I have attempted to do over the past four decades, namely focusing on the powerful total system dynamic of racism white supremacy as it impacts the mental health and the physical health of black people and what we must do about it. I define racism and white supremacy as follows. Racism and white supremacy is a local and global power system and dynamic structured and maintained by persons who classify themselves as white, whether consciously or subconsciously determined, which consists of patterns of perception, logic, symbol formation, thought, speech, action, and emotional response, as conducted simultaneously in all areas of people activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war, for the ultimate purpose of white genetic survival and to prevent white genetic annihilation on planet Earth a planet upon which the vast and overwhelming majority of people are classified as non-white, meaning black, brown, red, and yellow. And all of the non-white people are genetically dominant in terms of skin coloration compared to the genetic recessive white skin people. And even full of the first person to speak about racism as a system has said, and we should all remember this, if you do not understand white supremacy racism, what it is and how it works, everything else that you understand will only confuse you. I view the courageous decision made by the planners of this conference to focus sharply and comprehensively on child sexual abuse and trauma in the African American community which has now become epidemic in its magnitude as a reflection of the wisdom of the planners. This epidemic, in my view, has indeed resulted from the five centuries of sexual abuse of black people on slave plantations upon which there were themselves the phase of the system of racism. This conference has been inspiring in that it has showcased the high level of creativity, the intelligence, and the commitment of many black workers across the spectrum of professions and lay persons in our community who are dedicating their energy through their work to help solve the myriad problems which Continue, which we continue to face as a total people. The excellence of their ideas, their integrity have given me inspiration to continue my own efforts. I remain determined and convinced that we can and we will, as black people, solve all of the problems that have been placed in front of us during this epoch of supreme injustice, no matter how daunting those problems may appear to us at any given time. It is absolutely imperative for all of us to always remember that the supreme creative force in the making of this entire universe chose black people to be the first human beings on this planet to be the mothers and the fathers of everyone, black, brown, red, yellow, and white. Yes. It is we who were chosen to be the parent people of the planet. 
It is we who were chosen to be the first to understand and to establish family life and child development. The first to know and to understand the meaning of God. The first to prioritize truth and justice. The first to know and to understand the act of self-reproduction, meaning sex, and to see and to understand it as a sacred knowledge and responsibility. We were the first scientists, physicians, <coughs> philosophers. We were the first to navigate the oceans. We were the first to develop civilization and the first to develop universities. We were the first astronomers, the first great builders, architects, and mathematicians. But we all know in our respective areas of work that sometimes the conditions are such that the parents can lose their way, and that the children, the least informed, take over the house, leaving it in a state of chaos and confusion, such as we now have on planet Earth. It is then that those who are the true parents <coughs> must rediscover who they are, who they really are, and who the God force in the universe intended them to be so that upon deep introspection and self-respect, and upon deep reflection, study and hard work, and total commitment, they again can assume the role of leadership and responsibility that we were designed to be in the beginning. No one has been given more by the Creator than we were given in the first instance. Our challenge is now to restore to ourselves the most important thing that has been taken from us during the great age of chaos and injustice that continues to the present time. That is black self-respect. Deep, 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 everlasting black self-respect. There is nothing at all that is more powerful that in-depth self-respect, because it is that which gives us the closest possible connection to the God force in the universe. Just imagine, the God force made us black, and deep black, because the God force wanted us to be black. The highest condition through the black pigment melted to receive all energy communication through the melanin sense receptor, thereby giving us access to not only the sixth sense, but the seventh sense, the eighth sense, and the ninth sense. So just imagine what happens when we are taught to then hate black and then to want to be white. Mm -hmm. Then this is no different than slapping the God force in the face and spit it into the eye of God. Then having the nerve and the temerity to ask that God for us for help. How foolish can we be? God made us black because black is able to receive all energy. When we finally get in touch with this, this level of black consciousness and black awareness, we will understand how we were able to erect the pyramids, and we will then be empowered to achieve all that we make up our minds that we want to achieve, and the God force will truly be behind all that we do. May I close with this prayer that I wrote some years ago. It goes like this. Thou who art blacker than the trillion midnights, Thou whose eyes shine brighter than a billion suns. Thou whose hair doth coil tighter than a million springs, radiating all energy throughout the universe. We beseech thee, one and only one, to give us total strength, to carry out thy will for the universe, to establish justice and live in peace. Thank you.